Hey there, YouTube. I said I'd make the how to video. My background. I decided. I decided to name him Razor Claw. Now, see. Let me show you how it looks like when it's not into like a trap mode. I tried to get him into like a ball-looking form, kind of, but I can never get it. find it. And that's how it looks like. So now let me take them apart, and then I'll show you how to build them. No. The way that I made that I made this background, like it took me a while to also make the um battle gear, which I already did a how to on it. You know. The battle gear well, also took me a while because, um, mostly because I was trying to figure out how it was going to look. The same thing happened with my Bakugan. So they both took me like about maybe even a half hour, maybe two hours, I think. I don't know. I lost track of time. But this is a real cool Bakugan. And maybe do some modifications to the head so we would be able to actually come in like go down and up but this other than that and this is a pretty cool background and I'm surprised it didn't even take that many pieces it just looks like a big bunch of pieces mostly but so I took it apart. Now the body I got from Jeff Kenny, and um, what you do is you take a circular two by two brick and this two by two um smooth piece kind of with pegs on it, and place that under the place that like that on two by two brick, and then you take. Take this one by two piece with like a plate, or like a, like a one two by two plate inside of it, and take two of those, place like that. Now my background is like um like a camouflage background. You could get some of those in the back of Trinity. I got one with me right now, like uh here I did an unboxing of this <coughs> his name was Beckle Cyclone Strike that's a real cool background so I based mine off of the camouflage ones so now that you have this you, um, what you do is you take um, let's see you take let me see if I can it. yeah you take a one by two with a grip on the side it doesn't matter what kind of grip as long as it has like grip in this case I'm using this one and this one and that's why most of my that's why my back one is like in different colors because I based it on the camouflage so you put them on the side like that so you have two pegs right here left and two pegs right here left you have them left take another grip kind of piece and place it right on here on the top there that's what connects it to the tails now you take two more one by two grip pieces well I'm um, not grips but they're handles they have handles I mean and you, before you place them on you take two one by two smooth pieces and place them went on there those pegs right there you do that on both sides and now you take your one by two this is with the handle <coughs> and place them right here on both sides like that and now that you have that you take 
four by four, uh, two by four. And you place it right on that space right there on the top. And you take a two by a one by two, place it right on there. And you take a two a two by two and place it right there. But that that'd be the jaw. <coughs> and I take this headpiece kind of. Well, one by one right there, and a one by one in the back. And take a one, a one by one peg, place it on the back, and place that right there in that spot right there in the middle. Of the two by four. And you have that. <coughs> then you take a two by three, and you just place it right on that space right there. And that's the head and the body. Now we're gonna make the tail. I mean, we're gonna make the wings actually. Now to make the wings, just set this aside for a little bit. To make the wings, you take a two by two, and then you take this one by two with like a gripping piece kind of. Let's see what happens to my other one. Oh, you take two of them and you place them right on the two by two. It doesn't matter. Uh, it can't be. It doesn't matter um, what kind of piece it is as long as it has a grip going like that. And now you take two of these one by twos with this thing sticking out of it. Now these two things sticking out of them. And just place them right on there. And now you take a smooth two by two and place it there. And you have to make two of those. But for those of you who don't have these two pieces, you can and you just have two of these pieces, so one by two with two grips on the side. I'm show you how you can do, use that. What you do is you take a two by two and place the that one by two with the two grips on there and then you take a one one by two and place it there <coughs> and now you take your one by twos and you just place them right there same thing as I used on the last thing so now you take a two a smooth two by two in this case I'm using two smooth one by twos because I couldn't find any more two by twos smooth ones so you, those are the wings and you get your body place the wings right on the both sides right here and there you go you just fold them right up when it's in the ball mode or whatever and fold them down and now we're gonna make the feet now to make the feet, all you need, remember, you're going to make the feet, you need two of them. So, most of these pieces that I'm showing you, you need two. You take this side, two, with a peg wait, wait, right wait, here. Wait. Sorry about that, my little brother. And then, you just place, put a one by two on the back of it. And then right in the peg right there, on the top. You place this one by one kind of thing with a uh, grip and just place it like that. And remember, you have two of them. You need to have two of them. So, yeah, like that. And you stick that right here. Or you're on your back one, right there, these two grips. Like that. Let me see, they fold in. And now we're gonna make the tail, which is the last part of it. We take three of these grip things kind of and you gotta make sure that, you gotta make sure that you have this piece right here. 
that because that's what separates them so they'll be able to actually get on stay on there now you got to be careful when you do it with this back of one because the pieces don't stick on right sometimes So you get three of them, put them in the spaces like that. Not sure if you can see that. So you have that. And then and two of these, the outside ones, you take two of these handle pieces, kind of, grips. That I can, kind of. And you just place it right there. They have that. And then right in the middle, you take this claw piece kind of, you place it right there. And now they have that. There, there's your back of I forgot what I named them, but keep keep forgetting. But there you go. And then when you want to put it into a ball, just put the wings up, flip the tail in, like that, and then just put the feet right in, and there you go. Let me show you some. And now we're gonna put the we're gonna put the battle gear on there. And he'll rock. And now you get your battle gear. And that you get this right here. You just place it right on there like that. Like this. And there you go. Oh wait, put it on backwards. And you just take the best row and then the saw, what it needs to, what you do with it is you just flip it down there. So that way, when he's in attacking an enemy, the saw is right there. If the enemy tries coming toward him, because the saw sticks out farther from his face. So, I like that. We're going to take off the battle gear. And put him in the ball. In a trap, mostly. Like I said, I'm gonna do something about the head, and then there you go. And I'm gonna do something. Back open. 